Hi everybody, welcome to the next episode in my updated for 2024 beginner's guide to server console modding for Daisy. Of course, all of this stuff, well, most of it applies to PC as well. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the loot on your server spawn in pristine. Um, which means that it lasts longer, it doesn't break down as, as fast. And also, we'll have a little look at how you can make things spawn in complete or full. For example, a water bottle. How do you make a water bottle spawn in full or a packet of water purification tablets or a magazine? That kind of thing as well. But before we get started, just remember in the description below this video, you'll see a link to this playlist, which is all of these updated for 2024. Uh, beginner's guide to daisy console modding um, and i guess uh, a little bit of pc as well and also you'll see a previous video link and a next video link because i've tried to record these in somewhat of a logical manner so that if you're new to this and you've just rented a server you'll be able to slowly work through them and pick out the bits you want and, and move move along that way because that's what i'm doing here i've actually i've got a server and i'm uh, modding it as we go along as I make the tutorial. So anyway, right, let's dive straight in. So you want to head over to Nitrado, uh, log in, and then you want to go to the web interface for your server, which will take you to the dashboard. And then we're going to go into the file browser here. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to go into XB missions, or if it's a PlayStation server, it will be PS missions, or if it's a PC server, it will just be missions. And then we want to go into this is a Chernerus server, so it's daisyoffline.chernerus. If it was a Livonia server, it would be Enoch. If it's the new map that's coming out at the end of 2024, I'm not quite sure that what, what that will be called. But we want to click on that one. And now, how pristine something is, is controlled by a couple of files. So the first file we want is in the DB directory. So go into the DB directory. And we want to glow, go into the global XML. Now, normally, I don't recommend editing this on uh, the website, on the browser. But this is only a small file. And we've only got to do some small changes. So it's fairly safe to do. So click into that. It'll open up. And what we're looking for here is the damage max and the damage min here. So the way that damage with um, spawning loot works in DayZ is that as some loot spawns in the server will go hmm this should be um, this should be pristine or this should be slightly what this should be worn or this should be damaged or this should be ruined if something's ruined it's not usable anymore so you can watch out for that and if a particular item doesn't have a damage min or damage max set for it in another file which we're going to look at in a minute called CFG spawnable types the global setting comes into effect, which is what you see here. Now, if you've watched some older videos from a couple of years ago, um, it didn't work like this. This loot damage max and loot damage min weren't in globals.xml. They were actually at the top of CFG spawnable types, but the devs have changed the way it works. And the way it works is zero means pristine. I think it's zero to 0 0.2 is pristine. And then as the numbers get bigger, then the damage, well, the wear gets worse, then the damage gets worse, with, I think, probably, I think 0.9 is ruined, something like that. So what we can do is if we change loot damage max to 0 0.01, like that, and we save that, what that's going to do once we restart the server is going to make sure that all the new stuff that spawns in will be pristine, which means that it lasts a lot longer. Now, remember... If you watched the previous video in this series, in fact, I think if you look in the description below this video, actually it's the previous but one, so you have to go to the playlist and look for it. I've done a video on how to speed up the rate that um, your edited changes happen on your server. Because what will happen is on your server, it will already have this loot all over the place, that some of it is damaged, some of it is worn, some of it is pristine. That will already be there. And the way that the loot economy on your DAISY server works is, it goes around the map, looks at places where players aren't, and it'll, it'll, um, stuff will unspawn, despawn, depending on how long it's been there, and be replaced by other stuff. This only happens when players are on the server. Um, and so if you watch that other video, I'll show you how to, to reduce the, um, or increase the time that the server stays awake after the last person has left. 
because normally what happens is when the last person leaves the server the server goes to sleep and nothing happens then but if you extend the idle mode countdown i'm going to say is the setting that i remember to so instead of it being 60 seconds it's 600 seconds so 10 minutes that gives the time for these changes to take effect so once you've done this change here um, and the other change that i'm going to show you in a second as well that may well take quite a while to take take effect and you will find items that aren't pristine still on your server for quite a while afterwards so once we've done that then we want to go back to um, daisy offline .chronos plus so if you click on that folder there and scroll down what we're interested in is the cfg spawnable types that xml so if you click on the download button there and download it to your local pc there it is so let's have a look so there it is on my pc and we're going to just cut that out of there and i've got a different folders i have a separate folder prepared where you can paste it and paste it twice oh well, sorry then then copy it and then paste it there we go and so you've got cfg spawnable types from cfg spawnable types copy that's our backup that way that way that way if we make a mistake or we're not sure what we've done we've we can always go back to that one now what we're going to we're just going to right click and we're going to edit this in notepad plus plus or you can do it in notepad i'll put a link in the description below this video notepad plus plus really good free text editor um, that color codes stuff as you go along so you can kind of find things and spot mistakes a lot easier so what we're going to do now is we do control f and we're going to do a search for damage like so and we're going to click on find all in current document so here they are so we can scroll around and then what we can do is we can just click on one of these double click and we can see <laughs> the first one is when gift wrap paper spawns in this will be as part of the christmas event it, the damage goes from naught to 0.32 so what we could do if we're very clever what you can do is you can copy all of this like this so you copy that click left click up above do control f again do replace and then we control v to paste that into place or right click paste that into place and we can change that to 0.1 like sorry like that or point naught one and then we can say replace all there we go so eight occurrences were replaced so that's replaced all of those ones now if we go down to the next one we can see there is a uh, where we got that one's been done that one's been done so we've got 0 0.1 and 0 0.6 damage so what we could do is we could select all that copy that left click up of it control f go to replace control v or paste in this other value change the 0 0.6 to 0 0.01 replace all oh there's only one anyway so that's done that one then we've got this one which is 0 0.35 so we can select that copy that left click above control oops, control f go to replace again control v or right click paste uh, let's just sort that out there and then we can paste that there as well and then we can change the 0 0.35 to 0 0.01 replace all and they're done uh, so they're done and then these are all done there's an 0.71 so the winchester see the winchester rifle the repeater is it the repeater the winchester can't quite remember can go up to 0.7 which i think is badly damaged so again so we can select all of that right click copy left click above control Ooh, i don't want to do that uh, let's do edit undo control f click on replace in fact we can just we just do the top bit can't we paste replace all dunk so they're all done they're all done and so on and so forth so you just go through going through all the different uh, variations of damage and just cop copy and paste and search and replace whatever it is as you can see these are already done to replace it with say in that case min 0 max 0 0.35 to min 0 max equals 0 0.1 and then the combination of 
um, the CFG spawnable types, and the other one will sort it. So the next step would be to go to our validator. Now, this is an interesting one, this one, actually. This is interesting. I'm glad we've come across this one. So we're going to go to validate, read here, validate XML files. So what will happen here? Uh, let me just make sure I save this file. Yeah. We're going to get a false positive here. Oh, wrong one. Test files for video. Here you go. I think. Let's see if we get a false positive. Oh, no errors are found. There we go. Oh, they might have changed it then. So we know that file is now safe. So what we can now do is go to our server, go to upload file. There's CFG spawnable types. Open that up. That uploads that. And then we'd restart the server. And then those new pristine items would start to spawn it. Obviously, in this case, we didn't completely finish it, did we? We got most of them. In fact, we might have done them all, actually. Actually, I think we did get them all by just doing those. Yeah, we did them all. Excellent. So that means the new th items that spawn in will be spawning in pristine, which is great. So they last longer. Players are happier. The, the One of the big problems with Daisy is that you bump into a zombie and infected, and they ruin your backpack or they ruin your clothes with a couple of scrapes. And you're like, oh, gosh, I've been looking for that for ages. I need to find somewhere else. Okay, so that's items spawning in pristine, new, so they last for longer. Now let's have a look how you spawn stuff in um, so it's got things, so it's full, all right? Now, for this, we're going to need the types file again. So we're going to go to DB, and we're going to go to types, and we're going to download the types file, because it's pretty big. And then we're going to look at it in our downloads folder. There it is. So it's type 6. I've been doing this a lot. So let's copy that. Let's take it to our other folder. Now, we've already got some types here. So we're going to have to be careful. In fact, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to put um, full types. There we go. So I'm going to put that into there. There we go. So this is the types we're going to edit so that the stuff is full. And we're going to edit this with Notepad++. We're going to shut that down. Um, and what we're going to do is the problem with this is sometimes it can be difficult to try and remember what stuff um, should and shouldn't have things inside. So I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a kind of tip to, that will help you. So if you do a control F, and then we're going to look for mag. All right. There we go. What we want is something that's got a quant min that actually has a value in. So this has 20. So if we then copy that, and then we go back to the top of the document and do control F again and now we search for quant min that and find all you'll see we find a lot of the things so right so ammo flare so, so that has a quant min and a quant max so yeah I'm not quite sure why that is like that can't what is ammo flare it's just a flare isn't it it must be how long the flare lasts, I think. Interesting. I tell you what, we're, we're going to ignore that one because I'm not dead sure about that. Here we go. So let's go on to the, let's do the car battery next. So the car battery um, has, the, the, is filled with energy. So again, this is a percentage quant min, quant max. So if we want the car batteries to all be full, we would change that to 99. Let's go to the next one. Gas mask. Right, so this will be, right, this is how worn the filter is inside the gas mask. So we're going to change that to 99. And then we're going to go to gas mask filter. Again, this is how long the filter would last. You top them up with charcoal, don't you? So we're going to change that to that. Then you've got magazines. Now, the magazines are really easy. You can actually do a search for mags. So if we change this to 99%, Basically, all the mags are going to have, they're going to be full or they're going to be missing one bullet. And that's what you do. You go through and you just check all of them and you change them from 20 to, say, 99 or 100. And you go through and do that. And doing this, you will get an awful lot of the things that you want to find. 
Now, there may well be other things that you don't find there. So there's an example underneath with this rice. So again, rice, if you find a packet of rice, it'll have either 10% of what should be in it or all of what should be in it. So this is another one where we could copy that. In fact, I'll tell you what, maybe the best one to search for is the 100. If we copy that and go to... Uh, actually, we won't. If, that would have been good to start off with, but it's going to pick up all on, on all the edits we've already done. So if we do Control F and find all of those here we go so we got all of these now so we've got ammo and then we've got rubber slugs then we've got wind tracer more ammo lots of ammo another magazine some powdered milk and once you've done that and you've d you've done all those obvious ones you can then go okay so how about uh gasoline Okay, so that's the gas, gas canister gasoline. So let's make it so that the, the petrol cans all spawn in full. 99 and 100. Like that. And you can say, okay, so that, that's pretty good. Um, what else could there be? Um, Tetra, that's the antibiotics. Okay, so let's so they're 10% and 50%. So let's change that to 99 and 100. Like that, and then maybe you could have um, uh, purif. Uh, it's chlor chlorine tablets, isn't it? C chlorine, or is it purification? There you go, purification tablets. Again, they're either ten percent, and you go through and you change like this. So it's a bit hit and miss. But if you use the Control F find function first to find, you know, the quant mins that are like 10, 20, 30, 40, that sort of thing. Or actually, to be honest, what I would have probably done, what I should have done at the beginning is we should have started off with the find the quant mins that are 100 and then go through all of those and change the quant mins that are associated them to 99. That would have been a li little bit easier. And that way, all of the things that you want to just go through and make sure that you, that you uh, sort of increase them so they'll spawn in full of stuff. Now... I do recommend you do it manually by finding and replacing and don't try and do an automatic find and replace using wildcards because there may be some things that you don't want to spawn in full. Not quite sure what they might be, but there may well be some. So I'm a big fan of going through, at least the first few times when you do this, just doing it so that you kind of get a feel of the files and what the names are and how it works. So we're, what we would then do is we would then save that um, and then we need to go to the here, the folder and we need to just call this ordinary types. Then we need to go to our XML validator, click on XML validator to refresh it, choose file. Let's make sure we open that up. Let's validate that. No errors were found, excellent. Go back to our server, upload the file, full types, click on that one, open that up. That's uploaded. Restart server. And there we go. So what we've done now is we've got items that are spawning in pristine and we've got stuff that's spawning in full. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you have it, like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.